Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This week we're going to go on back to Facebook and we're going to show you how to set Facebook default audience. That's right, when you're posting your posts on posting your post on Facebook, um, it is you can actually set a default audience like a um, being public all the time, or you can make it private or only for friends to see, and some other features in there I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to do it on the website first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it later in the video. It's going to flip, and I'm going to show you how to do it on the an Android phone, so you can do it off the Facebook app. Um, last week, if you missed it, I did one on TikTok, how to check your account status on TikTok. I'll put the link down below so you don't miss it. And before that, I did a whole bunch of Facebook videos, so I will put the links down below for that too, so you can go check those out. But Today, we want to go over how to set Facebook default audience, and this will be on the website first, then we'll jump over to the um, the phone and show you how to do it in the app. But first, the website. So first thing you want to do if, on your computer, you can go to the website, facebook.com. Make sure you sign into your account if you're not already signed in. Once you're signed in, look to the top right, right up here, and it says account. You're going to click on your profile image. And then once that opens, the little menu here, you're going to go down until you find settings and privacy. Click on that. Oh, like I, I almost forgot to tell you, make sure you hit like on this video. It really helps out the channel. Also, the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every week. Okay, back into it. All right, so once you do that, you're going to, after you click settings and privacy, you're going to click on settings. And then it's going to bring up the settings screen. If you look to the left under settings and privacy, you're going to look down until you get to tools and resources. Okay, so under here, the third one down should be default audience settings. So when I click on that, it's going to do this. It's going to bring this screen up. So choose your default audience. Choosing a default audience automatically sets the audience for some content you share, but you can always change the audience for a specific post, story, or reel. You can change your settings anytime. So yeah, it's, there, it's not permanent. You, you don't have to be sticking with this, but the first one is mine's set to always public because I'm always... I don't care who sees my posts. So anyone can see what you share and interact with your public content. So that's fine. That's easy. Um, you can do it just with friends. Only friends can see what you share. If you create a public post, only your friends can comment on it. So that's a different thing there. So, And then the last one is the custom one, which is manually choose who can see what you share and interact with your public content. Um, so obviously these ones are easy. You just click if you want to change it, but we want to check. I want to do this as an example custom. If you click on custom and then hit next, and it's going to bring up this window. It says custom settings. So who can see your future posts? You, right now it's set to public. You can click, just click anywhere on that item and it'll, you can come in here and change it to public or friends or friends exempt, do not show to some friends. You can actually exempt some people, which is kind of, some people, you, they're friends, but they're not really that good of friends. <laughs> you can mess with them. Um, only me can see it. I don't know why you would do that. Um, specific friends, that's my wife. <laughs> that's pretty easy. Or you custom, include and exclude friends. So you can do really customizing it. Uh, acquaintances, um, and then close friends and stuff like that. So that's, we're going to cancel out of that, but that's one way. So you got a next one down here. You get who can see your story so you can adjust it. This is really detailed now. So when you come into custom, it's all detailed. The other ones are more general. Uh, who can see your reels, uh, allow others to share your public stories to their own stories. So you can turn that off if you don't want them doing that. Uh, allow others to share your reels to their stories. You can turn that off. If you don't want to you just click right here and it shuts it off and on. Um, who can comment on your public posts? So you can adjust that here. Same thing we did there. It's going to give you the same list. Public profile info. And then who can see the people, pages, and lists you follow. That's a little different too. So you can change that here too. If you scroll down, so you didn't think there was one more down here. Do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? So there you go. So this is another one. I Not many people know this is here. You can actually click that and it will stop them from the search engines from outside of Facebook linking with your profile. So that's another thing you can do. So once you do all this, let's change one thing so it actually can change it for me. So I don't want people sharing my story. Let's say I want to change this one just for fun. And then you go down here and you say done. So click the done button. And then it's going to pop up. This is default audience updated. Your default audience on Facebook has been updated to custom. You can change um, your settings anytime. And then you click done. And we're done.
that's how easy it is to do on the website. So like I said, all you have to do is change it. So we'll go back here real quick and see, I can just, I'm going to change it back to public and hit next if you do that. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to tell you, and this is nice because it's a review selection. It shows you what you just did with that one selection and then read all this you want. And if you're happy with it, you can always edit settings. If you hit edit settings, it takes you back to that custom screen. So let's click it. See custom screen. So we don't want to do that. We say, hey, it looks great. Don't need to customize anything. You say confirm. And same thing. It's going to tell you you did it. This is changed. And you say done. And done. That's it. That's easy. As, that's how easy it is to do on the website. I'm going to jump over here in just a second over to this, the, my cell phone and show you how on the Facebook app. Okay, now we're on my phone. This is Mortal Roller Edge Android phone. I'm showing you how to do this on the Facebook now. On the Facebook. On the Facebook app now. <laughs> All right. We're going to tap on the Facebook app. Once you open that up, you're going to wait till it opens, and you're going to look to the top right, and you're going to tap on the profile image. Tap it. A little harder. Okay, once this does, once this opens, you're going to scroll down, or swipe up, whichever you want to do. Oh, swipe up, not too far. Down here, it says settings and privacy. Tap on that. And then once settings and privacy opens up, just like we did on the website, we're going to go up to here and tap on settings. And then when settings opens, we're looking for the same thing we did last time. So you're looking for tools and resources, which is right here. And then you're looking for default audience settings. Tap on that. It's the exact same way the other one did. This is all the same. So if we change it to just friends or we change it to here, eh, there we go. And you get to custom the same way. So if we tap on customs. I'll show you how this works too. It will pull up the custom settings just like we saw on the website. It's going to do the same thing. You can change these by tapping and you can actually modify them to who you want them to be. So who can see my post just like we did before. You can push back here. Same thing was like allow others to share your public stories. You can, you know, shut this off or turn it on. You have a lot of settings in here you want to go through. That's very simple to do. If you're done, let's say you change, let's say we'll change one thing here. We're going to change this back. So we change that. We don't want anybody sharing my reels. Actually, I want people to share my reels. Let's get rid of this one. All right. And then once you do that, you're going to look to the top right and the done buttons up here the done link the before on the website it's down here but it's up here in the corner so you're gonna say done it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna say oh your default audience is updated and at the bottom let me move this back sorry guys there's a done button on the bottom i wanted to make sure you saw that and you tap on that and that's it that's how easy it is to do it on your facebook app also so let's go back in we're gonna switch it back so i'm gonna hit the public one at the top as we did before and you hit next. There's a next button at the very bottom. We're going to tap on that. And it's going to verify that it, every, here's all the settings we changed with it. Um, and you can edit it. There's an edit button at the bottom. If you want to do it, it takes you back to the custom screen. Uh, but we are good. We're going to tap on confirm. And there you go. And then you tap done. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do on the Facebook app and how to do it on the website. Very simple to do. You can change your default audience anytime you want. I, it's not stuck there forever. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.